What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add custom fields to your registration form and also how to display those fields on your user's WordPress profile. Now we're going to be doing this using advanced custom fields and Forminator. Now let me go ahead and show you guys a preview of what we're going to be building here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on register here and this is a form that we're going to be creating. I'm going to go ahead and just test out this form so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to add my uh, company name. I'm going to call this um, John Doe, John Doe Business, <laughs> John Doe Biz, or uh, John Doe Inc. How about that? And then uh, my business size is going to be between 1 and 10. And I'm just going to add a fake phone number here. And my username is going to be um, John. My email is going to be... Um, John as well at website.com and password's just going to be test because we're since we're on a local host it doesn't really matter so now that I've added the information here I'm going to go ahead and click on register and now it's going to tell me that on my account registration is successful and I can go ahead and click on here to um, log in but I'm just going to click on this link here above and then I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to see if the information is displayed on WordPress user profile here so now I'm going to go into users and then as you can tell we have a user called John and I'm going to go ahead and click on John or I click on edit doesn't really matter now if we scroll down here we have an area where it says our business name that we added um, that information we added business size and this was between 1 and 10 and our phone number so as you can tell um, our our custom fields that we added which were pretty much these three are displayed on the user's profile on the WordPress dashboard and obviously we have their email and all their information as well, their username. So that's pretty much it there. That's exactly what we're going to be building. And if you guys do end up enjoying this video, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now that's pretty much it for this uh, intro. I hope you guys enjoy. So let's begin. Now I'm just going to completely start from scratch so you guys don't have any issues. So head over to your dashboard and we're going to need to just install some plugins. So go to your plugins, click on add new. And the first one that we're going to be using is going to be called Forminator. And it's going to be this one here, Forminator. So go ahead and install that one. Now I'm not going to activate it yet until I go ahead and and uh, install my other plugin. So the next one is going to be um, advanced custom fields. So just type in ACF. And it's going to be this one right here. It has over a million installs. Go ahead and click on install. And then go ahead and click on now, so actually, you know what, instead of clicking on activate, I do want to add a login logout menu. And I'm just going to add that just for this video. It's not really necessary. Um, but I just want to have that there. So you guys have that as an option as well. And I believe it's going to be um, it's going to be this one here. I know that it is a little bit outdated, but I have tested it on a couple websites, so it definitely does work. So you guys shouldn't hopefully not have any issues, but definitely be worried about that whenever you're installing plugins that are outdated. But anyway, you don't really have to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and install um, Forminator and then Advanced Custom Fields. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create our um, form. So go into Forminator, and then you can just click on Forms, or you can just go into the dashboard and click on Create. And we're going to be creating a user registration. Now, of course, we can also create a login as well, but I, I might end up doing that in a different video. Um, and I might go over creating a custom design for your registration form in a later video. This is just to show you how to how to connect um Forminator to advanced custom fields. So go ahead and click continue. And I'm just going to call this user registration. Okay. 
So now we have our uh, basic username, email, and password. Now the main thing that we're gonna do in this video is we wanna go ahead and add some custom fields and we wanna go ahead and display them on our um, user information area. Whenever you go into users and you take a look at their profile, you can see that information that they entered in the user registration form. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some custom fields. So go ahead and click on insert fields. And the first one is going to be phone number. And we're just going to go ahead and click apply. And I'm going to grab that and put that all the way at the top. Now the next one is going to be, um, let's go ahead and just do input. And I'm going to do business name. Now, of course, this is just something optional. I'm going to click apply, drag that all the way up here. Oops. You can have them right next to each other as well if that's something that you wanted to do. But I'm just going to go ahead and have them um, uh, right at the bottom of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and click on insert fields. And let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and add another input. Or you know what, we can even do a um, a select. So let's say we want them to select something and we want to go ahead and display that on our um, user profile information. So I'm going to make sure it's uh, the label select and the placeholder. Uh, let's see here. We can go ahead and add maybe um, business. business size and the label is also going to be business size as well and then uh, you can add a description that's something that you wanted to do we can have an option one and then we have the input for the option one and the input for the option two so I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's go ahead and just call this maybe um, Let's see here, we can put between 1 and 10, between 1 and 10, and I can call this between 1 and 10 as well, and then the next one is just going to be, let's see, something between 10 and 20. Now, of course, I can continue to add to this, I can do, you know, anything after 20 you know anything after 20 i can definitely do something like that um but i'm just gonna leave it at this for now i think that's perfect and then we're gonna go ahead and just click on um apply and then i'm gonna grab this and i'm gonna put it right under business name now i'm gonna click publish now that's perfect. Now, of course, you can go into appearance. If you guys have not used this before, I'm going to go into appearance briefly and I'm going to style that lies this a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to have a different video where I really show you guys how to stylize uh, uh, Forminator forms. But in this video, I'm just going to do something pretty generic. The main thing is just showing you how to how to um, how to have the information displayed in the user area. So I'm just going to do. I'm going to do material. I think that looks fine there. The bun, we'll leave it at blue. That works. And you can easily adjust the colors. You can go to custom. You can just click on any of these. Let's say we wanted to change the bun color. You can just click on the bun. You can change the drop down list color. And you can adjust those. You can you can go ahead and adjust your font just so then it goes with your um with your website. Um, you can add some custom CSS. You can add a form container padding. Um, I'm not going to go through any of that. I'm just going to click update. So make sure you're on user registration and we need to add our custom user meta. So go ahead and add uh, add custom user meta. Click on that. And then right here, we're going to click on add custom user meta. And now we're going to be able to add some labels. This part is pretty important. So 
what we need to do is first of all click on your uh, value plus here click on business name now you would think that you would have to type in a business name up here on your label but you actually don't want to do that uh, it's because we want to go ahead and match it to our um, advanced custom field so we want to make sure that we just call it the same name as our value so go ahead and just type in text and don't worry you'll be able to um, adjust the name on the advanced custom fields so you shouldn't have a problem here but just remember that this one right here is our business name so text two and then um, the next one is going to be our business size and that is going to be our select our select one And then what we can do as well is you can do phone number and then we can do phone dash one and then make sure you have it just like this and then go ahead and click on update okay that's perfect and then now what we need to do next is we need to go to our custom fields so I'm going to go ahead and open up another window for my um, Forminator form. So I know what I'm looking at here. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit. I'm going to go to uh, user registration. I'm going to make sure I'm looking at these fields here. So I know the first one is business name, the second one is business size, and the other one is just phone. So I'm going to add a new field groups. And I'm going to call this um, customer info. And I'm going to add a field here. And the label of this one is going to be business name. And we're going to call this text um, text two. Now, what you actually might be able to do, I have not tested, is that you might be able to just add the field name to, um, to your label here. And that might actually work. But um, I haven't tested that. So maybe that's something that you guys can let me know in the comments. Um, but this is what I'm doing for now. This is just kind of how I figured it out. Um, so I'm doing text text to business name there. I'm at another field here. Now you don't want to make these required because um, we're not really having this this main um, form on our um, on a registration. This is totally different. This is just to show our uh, our user info on our profile. So the next one is I know. Next one here is um, business size. So that would be the second one. Now, of course, your fields will be different than mine, but and then we're going to do a select, select one. And the last one, I know that it's going to be phone. And I believe it was phone dash one. Let me just double check that phone dash one. Perfect. All right, there we have it. Now we have all those fields added here. Oh, business size, business name, business size, phone number. Okay, perfect. So on here, very important, go to rules, go into user form, equal to all. That's perfect. And then go ahead and click on update or publish. And then now whenever we go to our users here, I'm going to go into this one that's test. I don't know if the information is added in here. And it should be displaying somewhere around here. Let's go ahead and find it. Customer info. So here we have it. Customer info. So this is where the information would be displaying whenever a user registers. Now what we need to do next is go ahead and create the registration form. You know what? Let's grab our short code here real quick. So copy short code, go into pages, and we need to go ahead and add our register page. So go ahead and go to pages, go ahead and click on add new, and then go ahead and type in register or whatever your registration page is going to be called. And then I do have Elementor, um, but I'm not I'm not really going to use it. I'm just going to paste the 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 form here. I'm going to click on publish. 
Now, if you are using Elementor, you can easily just um, edit with Elementor and search for the shortcode widget and then just type and then just put insert your shortcode in there. It's really simple. Um, so then from here, I'm going to go into and view my website here. Now I am currently logged in, so I do have to log out. Now before I do that, I do want to reach this page. So I'm going to just set up the register page here. I'm going to copy this link. And then I'm going to go into my settings here and then go into log in, log out. And my registration URL is going to be this one here. And my, my account is going to be set to this one. I do have it set to two for some reason, but you can easily change that. I mean, it's probably not going to be like that on yours. Um, and then you can set a login redirect as also whenever someone logs out, but I'm not really going to set that up. And then I'm just going to go into appearance. And this is just so then when I log out, I can go ahead and see those menus. So go into appearance and menus. And then on your, on your menu here, go into login, log out, and I'm going to do login and register. That's the only ones I need. And I'm going to have them right under uh, my account. So it's just going to be a drop down. It's going to be really simple here. So I can visit my site here. I probably could have just refreshed this page, but that's fine. Um, see what's going on here. Maybe there's a little glitch here because for some reason it's not set to. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, so it is glitching out for some reason. I have no idea why. Hoping you don't have that issue, but for some reason I do on here. I'm not really going to go over it that much. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and register. I'm going to do business, business name, a bunch of numbers. It's just something random. And then the phone number here, we're going to do 555. Five. We're going to test a bunch of numbers, and we're going to do test at website.com. I don't know if I've added this email already, so I'm just going to add some numbers there, and I'm just going to add a password of test. Okay, so now we have that set up here, and we could do register. Okay. So now it says that our account has been successfully registered. Now, whenever I click here, it is going to take me to the WP um, login area. So I'm going to go to log in. Now you are able to change that link. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to change that link real quick. Um, go into Formator, go into Forms, go into that form here, and then go into um, Behavior. And then you can go ahead and change that link. You can probably change it to wherever lo your login page is. Just click edit and change that there. And you should be fine. And whenever I was talking about the login log out, I know that I did click on log in here. And whenever I clicked on or whenever I clicked on log out, it took me to my WP login page, but you can have that set to your home page. Just add your home page URL. Um, this is something completely optional. But anyway, now for the main thing that we kind of did this video for, um, we want to go ahead and see if the user information is displayed on our user profile. So go into, into your users, and then we want to go ahead and view our user that we just added. Click on this one here. I think this was the one. And there we go. So as you can tell, the information is added on here, and it's all being displayed now that's pretty much it for this video um hopefully you guys were able to understand it if you guys do have any questions on this video um just make sure to comment down below and i'll definitely try to help you guys out and if you did find this video helpful make sure to squash the like button for the youtube algorithm and if you haven't subscribed to the channel definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos now that's pretty much it and i'll catch you guys in the next video